Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're looking at an Asus Tough Power Supply. Now you remember the build I did a little while ago, I said it'd be great to have a Tough Power Supply and I actually have one now thanks to Scan. So they've kindly sent one out for me to look at. We're also going to do a couple of builds using this because it has the ATX3 standard. So that means we have the 12 volt high power connector for something that you might see very soon. In this one, we're going to run through the different specs and things that this one has. You can get it in a 750, 850, also a 1000 watt. I went for the 1000 watt just purely for headroom. And if I was actually buying one myself, I probably would get the higher one because if you're not using as much power, the fans aren't going to spin up and it's going to stay nice and quiet. So just a little idea for you there if you're thinking about getting one yourself. So open it up, we have the certificate of reliability. This is a thing that you get with the Asus Tough products just to say about all the checks that they do before they send it out. Also, you get a 10 year warranty with this, which is absolutely crazy. And for the pricing, there is the 750 you can get for 139, 850 is 159, and also the 1000 is 189. So those are the prices from Scan as well. So as I mentioned, they kindly sent this out. One of the largest retailers in the UK and a great bunch of guys to work with. They really uh, supported me for a lot of products, some that you're gonna see very soon. I'm very excited to show you. So stay tuned for that. So other things, we have a manual slid down the side here. Just all the details and things and bits and bobs. You have got a 600 watt uh, capability for the 12 watt high power connector. So we have the power supply on the left hand side. Let's have a little quick look. So recessed on there as well. We have got 135 mil dual bearing fan. There's a little bit of appeal on there, but we'll leave that on there for now. We've got some tough branding on the side. On the other side, actually, there's a nice um, mirrored panel. Let's see if we can catch the light so you can see that a bit better. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything that lights up behind there. Just thinking that the Asus case that we looked at, the GT502, had a panel that lit up like that. So maybe we shall see. I'll look at the connections and things in a minute because I want to just get those out first. So a big old bag of cables. We've also got a EU power cable as well as a UK power cable, which is uh, a bonus, I guess, if you're maybe going to move country at some point in your life. <laughs> uh, we've also got some Velcro cable ties, Tough Gaming branded, and then also some standard ones in there as well. And you've also got some power supply screws. Looks like you've got six in there as well, so you've got a couple of spare. I like that. Big old bag of cables. Now, one thing that I really like about these is they're very different sleeving to all the other ones. It's got a kind of, I guess the closest you could get to is snake skin. It's a kind of shiny, but not fibery feeling cables. It's certainly different. Slight sheen to them as well. They really feel nice though. So we've got 24 pin, of course, this does have a four breakout on the end. If you're still using a motherboard that uses 20 pin there's two 8 pin eps cables one of which is a 4 plus 4 so if you're using something that's like a b series board you might see a 8 pin and a 4 so you've got that covered i've got some molex connectors if you still need anything for those so there's four on one cable sata we've got one that has three and then we have an additional one that has another two which is a bit of a smaller cable so I'd likely to use that one first we've got two six plus two so two eight pins so if you want to do up to like a 3080 takes two eights. When I first got these cables out, I thought that's not very much. What if you're going to want to use a graphics card that's got three, for example, and you're not planning to use a 40 series card yet, but they have you covered. This high power cable here actually goes to two six plus two connectors. So you've got a total of four eight pins on this power supply using that cable. I think that's pretty nifty. Of course, you've also got your traditional 12 volt high power, which is a straight through cable. So no adapters or anything needed for that one. Feels very weighty as well, very uh, high quality. And like I said before, you might see this cable appearing very soon. So just have a look at the power supply with it as well. Of course, there's our 12 watt high power. Then you've got your additional PCIe below and then your CPU connectors as well. And then peripherals down the bottom. So nice range of cables with this power supply. And I'm very pleasantly surprised with the idea of the 12 volt to the six plus twos. Very cool, I like it. Also price wise for a thousand watt ATX3 compliant is very very good i've seen no less than about 219 pounds up until i found this so i thought it's definitely one i could uh, ask to check out makes it a little bit more affordable if you are going for a 40 series car because they are expensive and uh you can save yourself a little bit of money with a cheaper power supply but yeah it's still aces so you have got high quality components and certainly not expensive as like the uh the strix or the rog range either so win-win so thank you all for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. A big thank you to Scan for sending this out for me to look at. 
stay tuned because I'm absolutely amped to show you what's coming up. It's going to be very cool. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next one.